Hi, this is Steve from photomasteryclub.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you a quick technique that you can use to find more dust spots than uh, just trying to find them by eye so that you can get rid of them using whichever your favorite dust spot removal tool may be. So, you know, the reason for this tutorial is that there are a certain number of uh, dust spots that are just going to be obvious when we look at our finished images and you know we can normally just clean those up and uh, clone them or use the spot healing tool to get rid of them but you know that doesn't always uh, you know get 100% of them just doing it by eye so yeah this uh, this couple of steps that I'm about to show you are going to help you find more dust spots that are lurking in your images unseen now really it's all about contrast so the way that you're going to be able to get more dust spots to kind of show up in your images is by increasing the contrast. Now you can do that with the curves or a levels adjustment. Uh, let me just show you, for example, if I had a levels adjustment and just really boost some contrast here and just go go crazy. Yeah, the more the more I increase here, we start to see the um, you know, the dust spots up in this area over here and up in the clouds. They're starting to be a bit more uh, prominent. And also there's a curve that we can use if I just add a curves adjustment layer then if we kind of create this weird sort of shape then that also gives us a hint depending on the image um, as to where these dust spots are lurking but what I like to do is first before I start adding contrast with adjustment layer is to use a high pass filter so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to select all and then we're going to go edit copy merged and edit paste and so that gives us a pixel layer which is like a merged copied um, version of all of our layers combined and once we've once I've uh, got that in place what I can do is use the high pass filter so under filter other and high pass and what I'm looking for is kind of a mid-range um, mid value on the radius here. So uh, just from testing before the uh, you yeah, know before I recorded this video, um, 25 roughly was a good value. But just when you do this yourself, just sort of uh, you know gauge it. Just do some experimenting, sliding this slider up and down, just until you see some of those obvious spots that you have seen before. Uh, yeah, just until they start to pop a little bit more than they did. Um, so again, around about 25 works for me. I'll click OK. And now if I add a curves adjustment layer on top of this, then we can really start to see some, uh, yeah, some of these dust spots really popping. So let's just add a really high contrast S curve there until, I mean, the, <laughs> the shot has just gone completely nuclear, but um, yeah, that doesn't really matter for now. So we can see now we've got all these dust spots showing up that I couldn't really see before. Now let's uh, close that and zoom in so we can get a better look. And we can see here around the sky, we've got all of these spots here. There's a couple up here that have appeared and here through the uh, clouds and here and here and here. Now, if I remove both of these layers that I've just added, then we'll see that they are actually really hard to spot. So this one here, we can see the ones down here virtually hidden. So let me just toggle that off and on. You know, we've got a couple there that are virtually impossible to see by eye. And also up here in the clouds as well, they're really hard to detect. Uh, just by looking so yeah this combination of layers can really help us uh, detect the dust spots in our images that are otherwise hard to see now the only problem with uh, doing this is that we can't just go ahead and uh, you know clone these straight away so what we have to do is create another layer so let me just hide these for a sec let's create another one of those merged copied layers so select all copy merged and paste and now from here now we've got this layer we can actually do our healing on this layer directly 
whilst these two layers are active. The only thing we need to watch out for is, let's say I'm using the spot healing brush tool, I need to make sure that the sample all layers checkbox is not checked because otherwise it will start to, uh, you know, we will start to clone this weird effect into the image which isn't going to be what we want. Um, and also we just make sure that we've clicked on the layer that we want to apply the uh, the healing to. So once we've done that, we can go around and click on each of these little dots. Now we won't actually see the repair happening as we go because the uh, you know, the high pass layer is on top of the layer that we're fixing. So we just have to kind of trust that we're getting it right. And now if I just hide these two layers, we can see the before and after of this spot healing. Now, if you'd like to download my uh, six stage Photoshop workflow cheat sheet, uh, that's a PDF. And what that gives you is uh, my end to end six stage workflow uh, process so that you can have like a consistent step by step process to, uh, to edit your landscape images every time so that you can really start to you know, see great results consistently, uh, then just click the link below this video and you can go and download that cheat sheet for free.